Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video. And as you can tell from the title, we're going to be taking a look at my thrash metal collection. This is just some of it. This is probably going to be about a three to four part video series uh, going through my thrash metal collection. So for today, we're going to be focusing on CDs only, A through K. So let's get started. Now, a lot of these albums are... I'm sure most people are pretty familiar with if you are a big fan of thrash so with certain albums and um, certain bands I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about them but I will talk a little bit about the ones that I think are kind of unknown or underrated so with that being said here's one right here that definitely needs a lot more attention and that is Alien Weaponry these guys are a three-piece teenage band from New Zealand and in that aspect they really remind me a lot of early death angel from the ultra violence album super talented these guys um, this is a great sounding album as well very very heavy and pretty unique and different in terms of thrash metal to be honest because a lot of their lyrics are done in the native language maori and there's also some done in english as well so very, very awesome stuff. Definitely highly recommend checking these guys out. So that's Alien Weaponry. Um, the next band, again, is fairly underrated. They're an Australian band, and that is Armoured Angel, with their one and only full-length album, Angel of the Sixth Order. These guys have had an interesting career. They've been around since the 80s, but they have recent, well, not recently, in the early 2000s they split up so yeah to be around for that long and only release one full-length album is uh, pretty interesting but these guys are really underrated they're really really good really heavy sounds so definitely recommend them if you like your thrash metal more on the heavier side and I also have their compilation two disc compilation hymns of hate which basically covers their early demos and EPs. So, yeah, definitely recommend these guys, as I said. Moving on, this band needs no introduction, and my collection when it comes to these guys is really lacking. I really need to do something about that. So next up we have Death Angel with Act 3. Death Angel... Relentless Retribution, absolutely fantastic album. And the most recent, The Evil Divide. So as you can see, my Death Angel collection is really lacking. Um, I really need to change that. So yeah, hopefully I can pick up some of the albums soon. I really want Ultra Violence, but that is extremely rare on CD. So Hopefully I can find that uh, one day because that is one of my um, thrash album grails right there. Uh, moving on, we have another Australian band which I definitely consider to be really underrated and that's Desecrator. Um, this is their live album. Really, really good. Um, if you like 80s Bay Area thrash, um, these guys have a very, very similar sound with a modern take on it to that era so uh yeah and this is their most recent album from last year to the gallows which is absolutely phenomenal so yeah if you're an 80s bay area thrash fan definitely check these guys out um this is also a relatively popular band but at the same time kind of underrated and that is exuma Fantastic, fantastic thrash band. This is their debut album, Possessed by Fire. Their second album, Rising from the Sea, which is also really, really good. Probably my least favourite from them, well it is my least favourite, Fire and Damnation. It's still pretty solid though. And the most recent album from a few years ago, The Raging Tides, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic modern thrash album. 
The next stop is a band that I've been listening to for quite a while, but I've only really recently started picking up some of their stuff. And that is Flotsam and Jetsam, with their debut album, Doomsday for the Deceiver. Next up we have the second album, No Place for Disgrace, and I want to apologise because when I showed this in a previous update, I said this is the reissue remastered, it's not, it's the re-recording, so apologies for that, but this is a really really good album. And the most recent from a few years ago, the uh, self-titled Flotsam and Jetsam. Okay, uh, moving on to some um, crossover thrash. These guys are really, really good. And again, my collection's a little bit lacking when it comes to these guys. And um, that is Gamma Bomb with Tales from the Grave in Space. Really, really good. If you're a fan of crossover thrash, I definitely recommend these guys, especially if you're a fan of like pop culture, 80s references and horror movies and stuff like that. Um, a lot of their lyrics revolve around that. So yeah, these guys are awesome. And I also have their album Citizen Brain, which again is really, really good. Most of the stuff that I've listened to from these guys is really, really good. So um, you can't really go wrong with any of their albums. Sorry about the jump cut there, I was just rearranging some of the CDs, so moving on. Uh, next up we have Hello's Eve History of Terror. If you've never heard of these guys, because I do consider them to be pretty underrated, I definitely highly recommend them. A really, really good old school thrash band. And um, this set is fantastic, it's essentially the definitive set to get when it comes to these guys, because it pretty much has most of their material, if not all of their material, within this box set. Um, so definitely highly recommend checking these guys out. Next up we have another Australian thrash band, and that is Harlot. Great modern thrash right here, and this is their second album, Proliferation. Really, really good album. Definitely highly recommend these guys. And the most recent album from last year, Extinction. They have one other album which is kind of hard to get, so hopefully I can track that down at some point. But uh, this is another fantastic album from Harlot. Uh, this is a fairly popular, well known modern thrash band, and that's Havoc with Conformicide. My collection of these guys is definitely lacking, so. I need to pick up some more of their albums. They've released quite a few, I believe, so that's that one. But yeah, these guys are really, really good. Um, this is another fairly underrated Australian thrash band. They've been around since the 80s, and that's Hobbs, Angel of Death, with their most recent album from a couple of years ago, Heaven's Bleed. Yep, Heaven's Bleed. Really, really good. Um, not a lot to say, just they've got a really classic, traditional thrash sound to them. So definitely recommend them. And lastly for this um, video, we will be going through my Creator albums. I pretty much own everything that I'm interested in when it comes to Creator, except for one album, which is Violent Revolution, which I really want to get. But uh, for some reason, it's very, very expensive over here. Um, and basically, after Coma of Souls, the three other 90s albums, I'm not really that interested in. So, yeah, basically, apart from Violent Revolution, I pretty much have all the albums from these guys that I am interested in. Um, these are definitely one of my favorite thrash metal bands. Definitely top five, probably top three. Uh, but anyway, um, rambling aside, we have the reissue of Endless Pain, which is their debut album. Phenomenal album, very, very raw sounding, but I'm a big fan of that. Um, I think with these guys, they've been really consistent 
um, throughout their entire career. They've had a long career and um, to me consistency with a band over the majority of a discography is pretty important um, and yeah these guys have definitely hit that I think. Anyway, uh, rambling again, the second album, again the reissue, Pleasure to Kill, which again is a classic. Next up we have Terrible Certainty, and I definitely recommend these reissues by the way, they're really really good quality. And they have um, bonus EPs and stuff like that on the second disc which is pretty cool and then we have Extreme Aggression so they're all the 80s albums and all the reissues that I own currently uh, moving on the only really 90s album that I like Coma of Souls this is an absolutely phenomenal phenomenal album uh, then we have Enemy of God and all their modern albums from the 2000s are all really, really good. Chords of Chaos. Phantom Antichrist, which has absolutely fantastic album artwork. And one of my favourite modern thrash metal albums, and this one actually got Album of the Year for me last year. Um, that is Gods of Violence. Absolutely phenomenal album. Okay, so there you go. That was part one of my thrash metal collection on CD. Albums A through K. Let me know what you think of the albums that I've showcased in the comments section below. Also, while you're at it, let me know what some of your favourite thrash metal bands are. And if you guys also have a thrash metal collection and you feel like doing a video response to this, showcasing your collection that would be awesome because I love watching those type of videos anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed part one of my thrash metal collection series and thanks for watching